Ryan Dumoulin signed six years at $4.1 million with the Pittsburgh Penguins locking up for quite a while. Or at least cementing the fact that compliance buyouts are a definite part of the next lockout. It's roughly 319 Nissan Versus that he can buy every single year, so that's kind of fun. And he gets taxed around $1.8 million if he doesn't you know, do his assets right and things like that, but I could do by the tax calculator that I'll put the link down below. But what does this mean for the Pittsburgh Penguins? Well, we won two cups. It's pretty much what it means and we're paying the piper for it now. And it means unless trades happen, we have five defenders completely locked up. Hunwick, Schultz, Marta, Latang, and now Dumont. If we manage to re-sign Cole at some sort of a good rate, then that's our 6D going forward for the next few years. Is this a bad move? No, not really. Like, it, it's hard pill to swallow to say that he's the 72nd highest paid defender in the league, but then you kind of put that together and, you know, there's something there, I guess. We need a player that can shot suppress. I mean, Schultz can't, Marta can't, Latang is really, really good, but we need someone that can stay at home and play with those guys. So Dumlin fits that bill. And again, you need to pay those sort of players. The only thing I would say is that we just paid $4.1 million a year for a player who scored one goal in the last two seasons. He's a defender. He's not meant to score goals. I know that's what you're saying, but it's still a lot of money. Um, here's a couple of hero charts that I've, I've, I've brought up. So uh, this is against Oli Marta. Um, so, you know, some cross comparables there. I think the real factor you can see is that uh, he can... Definitely suppress shots. I mean, that's the fifth graph there. Uh, the fourth one shows uh, being able to generate shots, and he's quite low on on that sort of spectrum. However, he does kill penalties. He does do those sort of things where you don't really get opportunities to do that. Uh, then comparing him to Adam Larson, who is the 71st highest paid player, um, they're not too different besides goals, which is kind of interesting. So I'm thinking Dumoulin for Hall. That's a fair trade. Dumoulin for Hall, book it. And then there's Gostas B here, or Ghostus B here, or Gostas Bear, or Ghost, or the orange guy who wears the orange uniform with the flyers we, we don't like very much. I'm rambling, have you noticed that? I do that from time to time. Yeah, his stats are a lot better. Besides shot suppression, which again is something we need, so it does highlight that he does fill a need for us. We need people to kill penalties, so... Yeah, it's okay. I don't like that he's locked up to 31, but he's probably going to get combined bowled out if it doesn't work out, because the lockout's coming, kids! Anyway, that's the whole video. What do you think about the contract? I mean, there's not really much analysis here. He, he blocks shots, he's stayed home defender. It's a lot of money that we paid for him. I would have liked three. Three point... Three, maybe, for five years? I thought would be a good deal. But we've had to overpay a little bit. It could be worse, could have Derek Anglin still. So, I mean, let's not lose it completely. Also, I tweeted uh, Dimlin, I want a Nissan Versa uh, for free. Um, no real reason why, I just think it's funny. <laughs> if I, if, yeah, I think it's funny that you can buy like 320 before tax. So if you like lease them all, uh, that's, that's a lot of Nissan Versas that you can just run around with, so, or Verse. Whatever the hell they're called. You know the ones that I'm, that I'm talking about. I'll put them in the link down below. They're not even sponsoring me, but you go buy one today. They, they seem cheap. Like 12,000. I don't think they last very long, but they're cheap. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's the whole video. Do you like this contract? Uh, put it down below in the comments. Otherwise, like and hit that sub button for more stuff. Uh, one last thing before I go, too. Uh, I did almost forgot this. Shiri. Uh, Connor Shiri is gonna, uh, has the same agent. And we have about $6.2 million to get him under the cap. We also need a third line center. So there's that. So I think Shiri's going to get paid if Dumoulin is any sort of uh, key at that. That uh, obviously Rutherford doesn't want to go down the arbitration route because this got done just before that. Uh, so I'm expecting Shiri's probably going to get around five. And I was kind of hoping he's going to get Kunitz money, but I think they want about mid fours five for one season, which is. A bit scary when we need a third line center. So let's hope Shiri comes in at a similar contract. I'd be okay with that. If Shiri came in at 4.1, this is like 2.2 for a third center. So that's okay. Third line center, not a third center. Oh, I guess it's a third center. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, see you and, and boy.